Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am taking you thrifting with me, but I'm trying to put like a little bit of a different spin on it. And I decided that today I wanted to take you thrifting with me for jeans. Your cute jeans. Those are my jeans. Specifically so that we could try on a bunch of different pairs of jeans at the thrift store and like do kind of like a dressing room try on. I personally love those videos where people go to I personally love those videos where people go to a certain store and try on things like in their dressing room. Like I've seen people go to Old Navy, American Eagle, a lot of different stores. And I think those videos are super fun and I've wanted to do one for me for the longest time. But like, honestly, I just don't shop at regular stores and that's not like a flex or anything. Like I'm genuinely just too cheap. So personally, I love wearing color. I don't know if you can tell <laughs> just by what I'm wearing today, but a lot of my pants are from Big Bud Press. My favorite pants in the world are made by them. Their work pants are to die for. I have so many pairs of their work pants and their trouser pants and they're all in like different colors like purple, pink, green, blue, red, like all the different colors and I love those pants and I wear them all the time. Like I wear those most days because they're what's most comfortable for me but I don't have like any jeans. I have one pair of jeans that I found in my great grandma's garage that I loved for a while but now they're just way 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 too big and they just like sag on me and I don't own any belts and I definitely need to get one but even with a belt I think they're probably way too big like I don't have anything like very wearable or neutral just generally so I thought we could head into the thrift store just with pants in mind so I'm gonna try really hard in the jeans section because obviously that's where the most like neutral pairs of pants are gonna be and hopefully we'll be able to find some like vintage high-waisted mom style jeans that's all I really like to wear now but honestly doing this kind of feels like I don't know it just kind of feels good because I just remember thrifting when I was younger like in junior high and high school and being like so triggered trying on pants like specifically like I don't know if anyone else was like this when they were young but I was like so obsessed with the size jeans were so I would never try things on that were my actual size which was probably like a size six or eight at the time like I was so embarrassed to be that size and so I would only get pants at the thrift store that were like a size like three or five because I felt bad about my Myself if I didn't but then all those jeans were always way too tight so I'd never end up actually finding anything in my side not to turn this into like a triggering like therapy session but I literally remember being in like high school and junior high and trying on like jeans at the thrift store and being like oh these didn't fit well like I gotta go home and work out or I gotta like change my diet because like I wanted to fit in those jeans so it feels good now to be like pretty comfortable I feel like with my size and like numbers don't matter to me at all like I'm definitely not saying that I don't ever feel sad or like not happy about my body sometimes but I feel like generally I feel pretty like body neutral or body positive about myself and I feel like I'm at a point where I can try on pants and if they don't fit it's fine and if they do fit great and like it's not gonna make me feel bad about myself so I am kind of excited like it's been a while since I've tried on pants or jeans at a thrift store so like most women or honestly probably most humans in this world I don't super know my size like what even is pants sizing for women if I had to guess I would probably guess I'm like a modern 16 ish so yeah I'm gonna end the rant here I'm gonna head into the thrift store of course if you're new here make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already I post new videos every Sunday and Thursday they're almost always vintage and thrift related so I will love to have you subscribe I'm so close to 18,000 subscribers so if you could subscribe that would mean a lot but I'm gonna head in I'm gonna pick out a bunch of pairs of pants and then I will see you guys in the dressing room so I went into the thrift store and started my search for the perfect pair of jeans. So because I'm close to a modern size 16, my strategy when thrifting pants or jeans, just in general, is to start in the largest section available in this particular store. I think it was a size 20 and then work my way down to size 16. Not because I'm like trying to take pants away from other people that are like way too big for me or because I'm actually trying to find a size 20 jean. Just because as we all know, sizing at the thrift store is so crazy and confusing and jean sizing especially for women is all over the place so sometimes there are things marked a size 20 or in the size 20 section that are actually my size so again I just started the biggest section and moved down to my actual size just to make sure I'm not missing anything again I'm not trying to take pants away from anybody else that's bigger than me I don't ever really buy jeans that are too big I just look for things my size so I picked out a couple pair of jeans some vintage some modern I tried this pair of Levi's I found some vintage denim I used to have a couple pairs 
pairs of these Gloria Vanderbilt jeans and I used to love them um, until they wore out. So I grabbed a pair of these to try. And then I walked over to the other pants section that aren't jeans. So things like trousers, colorful pants, all that. So these glitter pants were kind of cheaply made, but I really wanted to try them on anyway because I saw a pair similar to these on Pinterest like a month ago. Um, but when I clicked on them, they were like $200. So I thought these glittered pants were worth a try. I also grabbed a couple pairs of neutral trousers just because I've really been wanting a pair of like tan or khaki colored vintage trousers. So I picked these up and then I made it to the dressing room. So I think in total, I grabbed like seven to 10 pairs of pants to try on. So here's a little fit check and let's get started. So I was so excited for this pair of yellow sweatpants because on the hanger, they looked really similar to a pair that I saw online a couple weeks ago. But as you can see, they clearly were not the vibe. I love the color so much, but they were kind of see-through and obviously just like the most awkward cropped fit ever on me. So again, I was so sad. Like, look at how cute they are here with this purple top. I love purple and yellow together, but, but obviously the fit was just like so weird on me. <laughs> Next, I tried on the trousers and they were way too small on my thighs. I could not pull them up all the way. That's why I'm censoring this out. Um, I was kind of sad because I loved the neutral plaid and I thought these would be a perfect addition to my wardrobe, but they were just like way too small, which is totally fine. Then I tried the glitter pants. Unfortunately, kind of like I thought, they were really crappily made. They just looked goofy, like, you know, when things just aren't the right fit or like well-made or well-tailored. So they just looked goofy and they were also kind of just a little bit sheer too. But again, as you can see, they were just kind of an awkward fit. They weren't very flattering and they didn't even look good in general. Like the glitter was just too spaced out. So yeah, then it was time to try on some of the jeans. This was the pair of Levi's that I grabbed. They were so cute, the right fit and totally comfortable. I just had such a hard time deciding on them, like if I wanted them or not, because I just hated how they looked at the bottom. Um, I'm definitely a straight leg, kind of like mom jean person like I love that kind of fit and these were just like a small boot cut and I'm just not into that I used to love boot cut jeans like way back in the day but it's just not my style anymore nonetheless I still debated for a while because they honestly didn't look bad and the rest of it fit I just hate hated the boot cut and I just could not imagine being like excited to wear these then the last two pairs of jeans were also a total bust the first pair wouldn't even fit over my thighs they were just way too small I think they were a vintage pair and then the next pair did fit pretty well except for they wouldn't zip up so I guess they didn't fit that well they were a little small um, both of these were vintage so I think they just ran a little small I grabbed a size that was a little bit too small and also obviously vintage denim does not have as much stretch as modern jeans so yeah those ones did not quite fit and that was my experience trying on jeans in the dressing room all right peeps I'm back in the car now I have my purchases do you want to know which jeans I got drum roll please None. <laughs> so I actually ended up not getting any of the jeans, which you probably could figure out by like the try on. There were really only like two or three pairs that actually fit me. And all of the ones that fit me were just like very not great. Um, well, there was that one pair that was like almost kind of cute. I was debating it for the longest time, the Levi's, um, that were almost like a little bit of a flare cut, but Personally, at this point in my life, I'm really just a straight leg person. In a way, I'm honestly kind of happy that that happened because I think it's good to show you guys that it's not always gonna work out, especially when it comes to being plus-sized and trying on jeans. And like, I just wanna normalize it. So if you've ever gone to the thrift store, no matter what size you are, and you haven't found like the pair of jeans or pair of pants that you liked or even like kind of fit you, that's okay, that's actually pretty normal in my opinion. I'm sure if I had gone back and like tried on pants that I thought would have been way too big, I probably could have found a pair that actually fit perfect. I find that like, I don't know, I guess in my head, I just can't like eye the pants very well. I know some people recommend bringing a measuring tape and I've never done that. And a lot of it actually was just thigh size. So like I couldn't pull a lot of it up over my thighs or my like my butt because they're a little bit bigger or like thicker, I guess. It's weird to call yourself thick because I don't mean that in like any sort of way. Like I don't think I'm hot, but so I know that's something else that other people might struggle with. And if you do, that's totally okay. And I'm okay with it. I'm actually really proud of myself. I tried on all of those jeans and none of them ended up working. The ones that fit didn't look right. And the ones that 
I thought would probably look good were too small. So totally fine. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully like, yeah, hopefully this just normalizes sizing a little bit. You're not going to find something every time you go to the thrift store. You're not going to find exactly what you want, especially with pants and jeans. It's all over the place. So my search for jeans continues. Let me know if you'd want to see a part two to this video. Um, I definitely wouldn't mind doing like another one of those dressing room videos. I thought it was fun and like just like a different way to, um, yeah, like to try things. Or let me know if you would want to see like a different version of this. Like if there's any other kind of like styles or stuff that you would want to see me try on like specifically in the dressing room. I don't know. I think it's just fun to mix things up. I thought this was like a cool kind of like... I don't know just like a different take on a thrift with me and I think the dressing room videos are fun so let me know if there's anywhere else you would like me to try this maybe there is a store that you'd want to see me do this at the only store I can genuinely think of that I would ever like that isn't a thrift store that I would probably want to do this at well two I guess one would probably be like a vintage shop like I would love to try on things in a vintage shop dressing room and then two I would love to do that at Big Bud Press, but unfortunately I don't live in California and that's where the closest Big Bud Press is to me. Please let me go to California again this year and please let me go to Big Bud Press. But leave your comments down below. What are your tips for me in the future for thrifting jeans? It's definitely not something I'm an expert at at all. I know there's probably going to be somebody out there that recommends me trying on men's jeans and like totally fine. I'm not mad at that comment. I know a lot of people can do that, but for some reason I, I just can't with men's jeans on me. Yeah, Um. also I guess like let me know down below what are your recommendations for jeans like what's your favorite brand that you buy from um i would love to search for some on poshmark i'm just so stingy like buying things new so i would love to like search some on poshmark or depop or whatever so leave your recommendations down below again make sure you're subscribed leave this video a like and a nice comment because that really does help me out if you want to support my channel even further you can check out my etsy shop that's where i sell a bunch of different cute vintage pieces so that will be linked in the description box and if you want to see how i style up my my thrifted outfit definitely go follow me over on instagram i will leave that linked in the description box below as well but other than that i think that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so much for coming along with me into the dressing room and i will see you on the next one bye